Hi guys, Minx here. There's a legitimate health warning at the beginning of Pine D Drive. I played this for like two hours yesterday, and it, I wouldn't say it warrants the health warning, but after sleeping on it, I've decided this is a fairly interesting little horror game. And I want to show you a video of later on in the game sort of thing, you know? Also, the headset I'm currently wearing isn't the one that's actually plugged into the computer. <laughs> this is good! There you go, get in the fucking game now! Anyway, um, this is a game where you collect keys, like, and it, but not like slender type collecting keys, like, it's a question of finding the jump scares, it's kind of, it's kind of unusual, and there are many flaws with it, but at the same time, I quite like it because it has the atmosphere fucking nailed. So, what I've done here is cheated to find out which rooms I need to go to to continue the story. Well, I say story. Continue the scares. And, um, we are now going to, uh, investigate this haunted manor and see what scares await us. Uh, I'm assuming this might be fairly jump scare heavy. We will see, though. I'm not 100% sure. This is day nine. And as you'll see by day nine, it rapidly becomes night here. And there's this. And that. What are you doing? What are you doing? You okay? You okay? Yeah. I'm assuming at some later day out of the 30, this thing comes up and chases you or something. But for now, it's just an adorable little creepy doll. It's my thumbnail right there. Creepy doll. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's investigate further anyway. So. Hello? Looks like the TV doesn't operate until it's properly dark outside. So we'll, just, we'll just wait for darkness to descend. Ooh. Ooh. So we're in a massive mansion, and the um, and the lighting's pretty nice. And um, you basically have to manage your torch while searching through lots of rooms to find a key. And when you and when you find a jump scare, um, that usually means you found a key. It's just a question of. Finding those special rooms where bad shit happens, and I think this will be the one for tonight. But I might have to leave the room first. I was going to say, if he'd moved, I would have not been impressed. And I'm really low on batteries at the moment because I haven't found any new ones. Hmm, why can't I use the TV? So, also by this point, the power's shot by this night, so you can't turn the lights on to see what the fuck you're doing. Which makes everything a lot more... <laughs> Did you just see that? <gasps> oh god. I knew it was the TV room and I... Oh god, just getting closer! <laughs> Brace yourself, everyone! Before you die, you see the fucking creepy girl coming out of the television set! Go for your face! So now I can't see shit. Which is, um... I want to say fairly normal for this game. Because it is. 
There is a place where all this interconnects, but I can't actually remember where, so I'm taking the long way around. See, all the power is totally shot now, by the way. There's no lighting at all, which is really fucking annoying. Especially when you have no battery. Especially when you're in a section of the house where you're not quite sure. Where the fuck it all is. I've got some more matches there. I'm having a great time in the toilet, see? So now we have a key. We have to find fucking matching doors for said TV. Which when you're on one battery like I am, takes time. Here we go, found the door. Oh, it's a creepy kid's room. Hi, bunny! Hey. Is there any batteries in here? Because I could really fucking do with some. Just fucking matches. I don't want matches. Matches are. Ah. There we go. I can actually fucking see again now. Hooray. So, anyway. There we go. Another key. More matches. But they're not matches, they're batteries this time. Hooray, that's even better. Well, we're unlocking all these doors. And there's the exit for the night. The power has been you find the note, and the night is finished. Just as well that we had enough candles in the house. And you basically repeat this 30 times with increasing levels of being scared by stuff. And it's not actually a bad thing. Because while it can be a bit tedious sometimes, I found a lot often it's just because I'm just not observant enough, if you know what I mean. Ah! Oh shit! Lovely! Oh great! Oh fuck me! Fuck none of the walls! Fucking. Ah! And there we have our scare. When I heard that whistling. I thought there was a fucking clown. Oh, I, I would have known. Ah, there. Clowny, hi, clowny. I love you too. Okay, in here. Yeah, it's this one. More batteries. Okay, that guy's outside. Hello. I put the clown doll in the storeroom at Linda's request. Even I find it a bit creepy. I'm not sure that's a good idea uh, to piss off the uh, nightmarish clown doll, but okay, I'll uh, I'll go with it. Well, it's day eleven. make the most of it being daylight for a few seconds while I head out. So the daylight sections look a bit washed out, but I'm going to have to up the brightness on this. Cons but you're still here. You're still there. Okay, I've got a new key. Right, all these doors are locked, so that was a waste of time. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? There's a wing here? Enigma in itself to manage to do this without locking your fucking self out in the first place. They must have had a plan. Must have planned it. Hi. Oh, hi. 
Hi. Hi. Ah! Oh, this can't be key, right? Oh god. Oh god. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. Oh great. Welcome to Clock Hell. Oh god. Oh god. That looked like a key hanging from the roof. Oh shit me! Shit me! Shit me! She didn't touch it. I'll put it away again. Yeah. Let's put it away again. It's gonna be there again. <sighs> um, did you hear that? Oh shit, the door just vanished. Hello? Oh, oh hi. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Fucking hello. Oh shit. Where the fuck was that from? Creepy kids everywhere. I paid for this house, maybe. Don't know the story, so I'm not quite sure if I do or not, but still I paid for it. Well, I mean, you gonna laugh at me again, kids? You gonna be playing in here, huh? Huh? Thought fucking so. Let's go down here. Hmm. Well, at least there's no sign of kids anymore. Probably just the local neighborhood kids, you know? Probably. <laughs> yeah! Just having a good time, right? No fucking kids around here. Not at all. Let's head up. Hello? Oh god, the power's like. Ex They're on my fucking swings! They're playing on my fucking swings! The fucking ghost kids are on my fucking swings! Get off my fucking lawn, you little shit! I don't care if you're undead! Hey, maybe I do! 